Hey, it's me again. <coughs> Excuse me. Not quite ready, but I'm getting there. This is a... Uh, what type of this? Not, a Huan Yang Inverter. Otherwise known as a variable frequency drive. And what we're going to do is program it so we can use the RS485 port for, for controlling the spindle motor. So first we shall plug it in. And it will power up. I have notes on my handy dandy cell phone because I'm not bothering to move a computer out here until I see how the garage does in the summer heat. I have it darkened in here so you can read the, the readout. Let me get into my phone. Bring up my notes. Okay. So we will go into program and we will go to one set and we will set that to two set and we're done now two gets set to two as well set Three we don't do nothing with. But we go all the way to 163. Oops. And we have a program. And we set that. To one uh oh go to sixty and one and we set that at one Set 164. Uh oh, went the wrong way. Set one, 165 gets three. I got it, I missed it. So let's uh, recheck everything. be careful with that uh, PD000 because that's the lock once you get everything done so you don't accidentally change anything.
rechecking, making sure. I never do anything from memory. One, it's a bad practice. Two, as you get old, you can forget. <laughs> and you may put yourself chasing your own tail. Two is proper, so this is set. So let me go to the next one. This should also be two. Okay, then we go to 163, shift, one, two, three, four, five, six, shift, one, we want to set it, one, set, four, one, okay, set, five, is three, I do believe, let me double check, three. We're good. I'm not going to lock it yet, but we're good. We're ready to power down, and that is it. We got this thing set up. Oh, sorry about that. The chop saw raised itself up. And we got that set up, and we're good to go in and start uh, tweaking Mach 3 with the proper drivers and start setting up so we start seeing the USB portions of this. I hope that has been somewhat teaching and entertaining and uh, we'll see on the rest of this as this, as this uh, comes together. This is part of a project I'm doing for somebody else to update it. He wants to use a laptop and I'm wanting, I'm wanting to do the, the update on it and I want to give full control to Mach 3. Yeah, and that uh, should make life a little nicer because because now now instead of having to set everything when you start, uh, when Mach 3 starts up and starts to cut, it'll automatically turn on the VFD, set the speed, and go through the cuts. So I hope that wasn't too much. I hope it wasn't all too soon, but it is what it is. And always double check your work. I cannot emphasize that enough. And I will shut this down. Never attempt to stunt yourself at home. I did this without a net. Now 220 coming right off the breakers because I don't have a 220 plug over here. Run through an extension cord and hooked in with this. Never attempt to stunt yourself at home unless you know what the hell you are doing. While it is fairly safe and everything's fairly enclosed, there is always that risk and I'm not assuming liability for you. I've been doing this since I was a kid, and even even I take the precautions. My wife checks on me every couple of minutes, just to be sure I'm not doing a resistance cook-off barbecue. It happens. People do it all the time. And uh, hopefully I get the shelves moved on that wall so I can get a 220 outlet over here. I've already got the new breakers installed. I just got to run conduit, and I'm going to run two. 220 plugs and a total of four 110 plugs all off all off the same breakers. Just run run four wires down the conduit and just just uh, daisy chain them out. That'll give me a spot for my welder, a spot for my plasma cutter, and spots for grinders, which I don't have now. I got I run everything in here off a extension cord that goes up to where the washing machine plugs in. And with that, I will see you later.